Hi, welcome to another video in my series on solving differential equations where we can separate the variables. And I've picked this example because it's got different functions in like exponential functions and trig functions here. And we've also got to find out the value of the constant at the end. So we've got to solve 1 over x multiplied by dy by dx equals e to the 2x times cos squared y, given that y equals 0 when x equals 1. Well, we've got to rearrange this. We've got to separate the variables, put all the x's on one side of the equals and all the y terms on the other side of the equals. And I can see that this dx has got to go up the top here. So I'm going to need to multiply then both sides by x first of all. So if I do that, I'm going to therefore have dy by dx equals x e to the 2x, x e to the 2x cos squared y. Now I need to get rid of the cos squared y term, so I'm going to divide both sides by cos squared y. Therefore, we'd have 1 over cos squared y dy dx equals x e to the 2x. Now I need to get rid of the dx here. So I'm going to take it up here and remember at that stage you have to integrate both sides. So therefore it becomes the integral of 1 over cos squared y dy equals the integral of x e to the 2x with respect to x. So I've now separated the variables. I've got all the y's on one side of the equals and all the x's on the other side of the equals. So I need to go ahead now and think about integrating each of these. Now to integrate 1 over cos squared y, I have to recognize that this is exactly the same as integrating sex squared y. So that's the integral of sex squared y with respect to y. And when it comes to integrating this, I've got a product of two functions of x. And so this is going to involve integration by parts. So I'm just going to write that back in first of all though, and we'll talk about how we do these. Well, the integral of sex squared y with respect to y, you should know, is tan y. So we'll just write that in as tan y. There'll be a constant as well on this, but as I've said in the earlier tutorials, we only need to put it on one of the sides. I'm going to put it on the right-hand side with this integral here. Now I did mention that we did this one by integration by parts. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with integration by parts. If not, you can always check it out on my website. But as a brief reminder, when we've got a product of two functions of x, let's call them u and dv by dx, and we're integrating with respect to x, then this is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du dx with respect to x. And I'm going to take the x as the u and e to the 2x as dv by dx. So when it comes now to integrating x e to the 2x, it's uv, so it's u, which is x, multiplied by v, v being the integral of e to the 2x, so that's going to be a half e to the 2x. Then we've got minus the integral of what we've just integrated, the v part, the bit in the brackets here. So I'm just going to write that down as a half e to the 2x, and then we multiply it by du dx. We differentiate the u part, the x, which is going to be 1. And we integrate this with respect to x. And remember, there will be a constant of integration in this, so I'm just going to call it plus c. Now we need to integrate this, okay? 
So first of all, we'll just tidy it up. We've got that this equals x over 2, e to the 2x, minus, and then for this term here, this is going to be a half times the integral of e to the 2x integrated with respect to x and then we've got that constant of integration plus c. So if we just come down here and we carry on integrating this we've got therefore tan y okay tan y equals let's copy this term down x over 2 e to the 2x and then we've got to integrate e to the 2x, which is a half e to the 2x. Multiply it with the minus a half, and you're going to get minus a quarter e to the 2x. And then there's going to be another constant coming from this integration here. So I'm going to add it to this constant and call it another constant. Let's say we call it b. Now we've got to work out what the constant b is. And so I use these initial conditions, or boundary conditions as some people call them. Let's just put here that we can say that when x equals 1, y equals 0. And if we substitute this into here, we therefore have the tan of y, which is 0, tan of 0. We'll just put that in brackets there. Equals x over 2, so if x is 1, we've got a half e to the power 2, a half e squared then. And then for the next term here, we've got minus a quarter e squared, if x is 1. So minus a quarter e squared, and then plus the constant b. Now the tan of 0 is 0, so we therefore have 0 here equals, and we've got half e squared minus a quarter e squared. It's going to leave me with a quarter e squared, and then plus the constant b. So therefore, if we take a quarter e squared from both sides, we end up with b equaling minus a quarter e squared. So we can substitute this back into here. Let's just call this... 1, okay, so we'll just mark that in as 1. So we can say sub in 1, sub in 1. And if we do that, we therefore have the tan of y, okay, equals x over 2, e to the power 2x. Then we've got minus a quarter, e to the power 2x, and then plus the constant b, which is minus a quarter e squared. So there's our particular solution. This one up here is called a general solution, remember, when you've just got a constant in. Now we're not asked to give it in any particular form, so I suppose you could leave it like that. If you don't want these fractions here, the 2, 4 and 4, you could multiply through by 4. And if you did, you're going to get 4 tan y equals, and if we multiply this term by 4, then we'll just get 2x e to the 2x. Multiply this term by 4, and you get minus e to the 2x. And if you multiply this last term by 4, it's minus e squared. So we've got any of these solutions are going to be acceptable, I would have thought. OK, so hopefully that gives you an idea of how involved some of these kind of questions can get. And another turn to have a look at the general solution and how we can work out the constant given our initial conditions and work towards a particular solution.